Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer and I'm here with a small review. This is a, a review on a doll that I picked up at the Doll and Toy Show last time and I just showed you like a really quickie look at her and I said, well, we'll, we'll do something later on it. So I had a chance to do that today. If you hear any noises in the background, it's little one who's little, he's trying to be my audience member and she's a little noisy. So don't worry about it, you know, just pretend. She's not there, she's not there. So this is um, Busy Becky, and when I got her, she was in this box, and um, the thing that the uh, the people that were selling her said that um, was that she hadn't been played with. She was, like, still brand new. And I thought, oh, I've been burned on that before. But I saw the doll, and I thought the doll was in really nice shape. She's a really 70s girl. Look at her, her flower power pants, her flares. She's really cute. So I took a chance. Um, and I'm not disappointed with her. Um, there's a few little bends on her backdrop that they gave her, uh, but I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, so this is Busy Becky. Like I said, she's wearing her, her cool 70s outfit. You could just think of her as being Marsha. Her object was, she's a handy helper doll, Busy Becky. Her instruction came with it, everything telling you what to do with everything. Um, busy Becky and her housekeeping set instructions. One of the first things they tell you is to be very careful taking her out because she's hooked with her plastic and you're going to use that backdrop section for um, her, her backdrop. So this is, I'll show you the box and I'll take that down. She has 15 accessories. She holds them with her helping hands. She irons with help from you. Help her walk, vacuum, and clean too. She's made by Mattel. And uh, when I looked online, somebody said that she was actually a Montgomery Ward exclusive. So she was probably a catalog doll, which would explain, like, uh, when I went to those stores, you never saw the play sets that went with anything. You saw the dolls, but you didn't see the play sets. So she, that makes sense. She was probably a catalog doll. And figure 1970s, around 73, between 73 and 77. I think she was 73, though. Well, this says 1970. Okay, so this says she's 1970. There's a couple different dates. Okay, I'll put this down. Boop, 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 boop. Here's Busy Becky. And actually, we'll show you how she's supposed to work first. Um, make Busy Becky walk for you. Pick up doll at waist, straighten her legs, move each leg forward or backward until it clicks, and put her feet flat and then rock her, rock her from both sides. That's what they said. Wait till she clicks. She doesn't do that well. Oh, they are that way. Oh, that way, okay. Kind of rocking her a little bit. Make her bend, hold her legs, push her forward as shown because she's gonna have to help us with the vacuum cleaner. So that's how she bends that way. She does have some, um, uh, plastic lines for her, her jointing. So it's a little glue on there. You can tell that's changed colors over the years, but she's so pretty, her face. She's adorable. So she can bend and she can also bend backwards in case she wants to do the splits or something or do uh, I don't know what she would be doing when she was tired of cleaning. Help her sit, hold doll at waist, push legs up until they're straight in front of her, hold legs apart, push forward. Well, that one doesn't work so well anymore. And I'm not going to try any harder. Yeah. See, Dolly? Okay. And then we're going to show you her accessories. Okay. I was surprised. I've, everything is pretty much included. Now, this is her, her box that she was in. In the box. So, that's why you've got... This is the area that would have held her waist in. So you had to be careful when you opened it up. There are some bend lines that somebody put into it, with, but it's not that bad. So it's very colorful, hot pink, hot oranges. It's very cool looking. This is her dishwasher. It's got a handle on it. You can open it and you can see the dishes inside. One of the hard things was pulling the uh, little tabs through because uh, most of them weren't opened any, you know, they weren't open yet, so that I had to first put them through, but a lot of the corrugated cardboard is um, coming apart. So there were a couple of ones that I worried about a little bit. So you have her 
her closet. And this has got a little handle on there. And then there's a little, we see it. There's a little a hook up here and there's a hook on here. And we can put her big, <laughs> we can put her big, um, uh, her housekeeping supplies in. Uh, this is a little shelf here. This is supposed to be for your paper towels. This is another shelf and this has got her, her ironing board. So we do have an iron for her. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do this here. Let's see if we can get her to get it. What? We'll put it on here. And she's going to go and pick up her iron. Now, I haven't figured out how to get her to iron easily, keeping her without floating on the, floating here, but uh, I'm gonna try later. So you can see, she picked up her iron. It's got a handle on it, and she picked it up. Here's her laundry room. She's got a nice little ironing board and a shelf above it. So everything's her in her tiny little little world. And on this side, you have let's put you down. This is her dining room area. Very small dining room area. It's got like a peekaboo little kitchen area. And it just has the um, her plates, placemats and her plates there. So that's her little world. I am surprised. The majority of the items are here. So let's see, let's show you how she does it. Actually, I'm gonna put it, I think, higher up here. Okay, this is her iron. She's gonna go grab her iron. Oops, oh, I can't get you to grab it now. There you go, whoa. Okay, here's her iron. She's gonna pick it up. Why do I have you on the wrong way? There. Okay. So she has her iron right there. She can hold it. The interesting thing about that is she has busy hand. Well, at least on one side. Her left side is a busy hand. And when you think of busy hand, I think of Barbie and Ken and when they came out with the little busy hand. So this came out, or this idea came out about it around the same time. Either they did the Barbie one after this one or they did this one after, I'm not quite sure. But it's interesting to see it work on a bigger doll than the small one because what the trouble with the Mattel one for Barbie used to be that they would break their thumb all the time. So if you look at her and you squeeze her sides here, she's got an indentation on this side, and you squeeze her, her thumb moves up and down. And then she can hold it and she can do her work. Now, another thing that she has is, let's see, let me put these guys out here. If she had this. Now, the, the only thing I think about these are that um, this little circle ended up being put on wrong parts of the stuff, which is okay. Maybe somebody got confused on it, but we can still use it for what we're doing. And if you squeeze her, if you hold her there that way, it stays there. But if you squeeze her, Oh, why are you not working for me, sweetie? You gotta get her off the shelf there. So if you squeeze her hand, squeeze her waist, it connects with the magnet and then it's there. And if you, if you wanted to drop that out of her hand, you squeeze her again and it drops. Kinda cool, huh? I mean, one, I just love the whole idea of her color motif. It's just such a cool little playset. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's so neat because I'm not taking it apart now that I put it together. But I just love her face. It's really pretty. These are the things that she came with. She, all these little bottles have a little magnet circle on them. See, some should have had them on the side so it would look like she was picking it up from this way and then using it, but they don't. Um, she has liquid soap we can put on the little shelf. She has bleach. She has a cleanser. She has a bucket. She also has a dusting mitt that she can put on her hand and dust something. She has window spray she's got all this stuff wax we're just putting it up there because that's the easiest shelf it's easier than propping it up in the other area what i found that she doesn't have is she has um 
she has a mop, uh, one of the push mops, and it's supposed to have a sponge on it. And it doesn't have a sponge there, so it's just separate like that. But this is where she's going to hold, she'll hold this. And then she's going to bring it where she wants to go. And she's going to go and clean the floors. And if you bend her, she's cleaning them like that. But it's missing the sponge. And the only other thing that it was missing was on this part. Oh, you got, you got a handle there, handle there. Oh, well, maybe it's not missing it on that part. Oh, that's it. The sponge is the only thing that I'm missing on there. Which is really good. I mean, that probably just disintegrated somewhere. Um, she has a vacuum, one of those whole old-fashioned vacuums, and she has all the parts to the vacuum, and there's a place to put them. They don't stay, but it's okay. Oh, got another one there. So that's there, and this is the rest of her vacuum. She has a, a sponge br a brush so she can go clean. I don't know if she's cleaning her floors or what she's doing. But she's helping out. And it has two separate things, two little cardboard plates, I guess just so if she has more company coming over that are not listed on the box. Um, they're, everybody said that these come and they're just in there. So it's kind of neat. She has the soap, she has the iron. My favorite is the iron that she has. And it's really cute that the ironing board is hooked to it. I forgot to show you, there's her dustpan too. It was inside here, I see. Out of sight, out of mind, in the closet and you don't even notice it's there. And you can hold it. That's the part that does, it doesn't really hold them up well. But if we open the closet, it's supposed to hook on there and hook doesn't quite do it that way but it's still got a floorboard so you can put them in there so she comes with her instructions she also comes with a handy dandy order blank so that you could order more stuff for Becky to use now Becky could use if you lost something out in the housekeeping set you could get another housekeeping set but there was also a supermarket set and a, a checkout set which is really cool and um, it shows you what they look like and everything that comes with them which is kind of neat now what I saw about Busy Becky online like I said that she was a Montgomery Wards exclusive and is very difficult to find with her original accessories she's 15 inches tall hard plastic body um, she has the magnetic and the um, the thumb opening on her and she is identical to Shop and Cheryl. So this shows everything on here. One hand turns up. Oh, her, her waist turns too, so you know that. 3D kitchen dishwasher. I know it told me more stuff about Cheryl. Busy Becky uses the same head and body mold as Shopping Cheryl. Shopping Cheryl had blonde hair rather than red hair and everything was based on grocery shopping. And I had seen Shopping Cheryl and actually when I got her, they did have Shopping Cheryl too. And I almost thought about getting her. But then I thought, um, I have so many blonde dolls and she's really pretty with the reddish hair. I love it. But Shopping Cheryl, it comes with a, um, with the shelves that you can get uh, cans down and she has the same whole thing that she, that she does where she can bend and move and put her thumb out and I'm so excited that her thumb actually works. Uh, some people have seen Shopping Cheryl's that come with a cash register and conveyor belt which is probably why there's two listings on this because it said checkout set and the supermarket set. But it's really kind of cool. So do you want to know how much those were? Let's see. Where's the price? Uh, the motorized checkout stand was $9.95. If you wanted the checkout set, it was $5.95. And if you wanted to get all of this, if you lost something, you would get the, the 3D kitchen wall and all the appliances and stuff. $5.95. Doesn't that just kill you? <laughs> I would love it. But she is so pretty, and she's got pretty eyes, and I really like her. And I think um, she's really in great shape. And now I've got, like I said, I've got to figure out where to put her now. <laughs> but that's all I wanted to show you, more of a close-up. And I'll take lots of pictures, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.